It's the last day of school, and while many students use this as an excuse to cut out early, this group is hard at work taking care of last-minute things, like watering the school's rooftop garden. Planted and crafted with their own hands, they carry their passion for the environment on their sleeves as they aim to make sure their school's carbon footprint is a size smaller than when they started. So with not just textbooks, but recycling bins in hand, they have spent the last three years diligently working on making environmentally friendly changes around their Hamilton area school. I think that now in our generation, it's a really big issue and all of the people in our school are pretty like responsive to what we do. What they are doing is changing the culture of waste around them, claiming their school is their own and planting seeds in the minds of their classmates when it comes to being environmentally conscious, a mission that started over three years ago by a teacher at Cathedral Catholic High has now been handed over to science teacher Miss Salsicholi. What started off as, oh, this would be a great thing and sort of explore this environmental issue turned out to be a really terrific, big commitment. And uh, uh, it's, been, it's been terrific. We've had some students do all sorts of really interesting things and do some great events at the school and uh, represent our school um, at a variety of conferences and all sorts of things like that. And while Ms. Salsicholi is the adult supervisor of the eco team, she admits all the activities and initiatives are spearheaded by the students themselves. And some of the projects aren't pretty. Uh, initially, we started with doing things like, you know, doing the can recycling by hand and picking out cans out of the garbage. I mean, the kids were terrific to do, take on something as unglamorous as that. The recycling has really gotten off the ground. They've implemented goose bins, where, which are good on one side paper. Um, they've had a lot of uh, moments to sort of raise awareness and all the rest of that with the school. So we've had pitch-in days that they've helped to organize. We've had sort of events during Earth Week that they've, events that they've organized. I'm quite certain that if they were not on the job that things would be progressing, but certainly not at the rate at which they're progressing. And their work is not just being noticed within the halls of Cathedral High, but outside of the classroom as well. Now in their third year, Cathedral High's eco team was recently recognized for all their hard work by Hamilton's own Eco Network. When we went to the dinner where we received our award, there were so many other people who had been working for years and years and who had done so many amazing things around the city. And it was just like, it was such an honor. And then we realized that we have, we have so much more that we can do. So it was kind of humbling to realize that we can, we can keep going and we can do some of the amazing things that all of these other recipients have done. Um, we didn't really realize that it was a big deal to get this award, but then uh, our teacher was receiving emails saying, like, from people saying congratulations on your award. You know, it's such a great honor and we were just like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> I gave them the news and it was really interesting because I think sometimes the students that group of students are so busy just doing the job that when they find out about it, they're like, oh, that's nice. That's very nice of being recognized. Okay, what's next? Do we, don't we have an event coming up? And it was really strange. It, it wasn't until they actually went to the awards dinner and they saw all of the people there who had had these lifetime commitments to the environmental movement and they were getting congratulated from people from all over the Hamilton-Wentworth region um, that I think it really dawned on them what a terrific honor this was. And that's what makes this particular group stand out. They've been leaving an invaluable imprint on the environmental world, and people are listening. They've had meetings with Hamilton's mayor, the Minister of Environment, and many other government representatives, giving a young voice to environmental issues. But all the attention hasn't affected their main focus. It shows us that there are other people out there trying to make a difference, so it feels like we're not alone. So it kind of, kind of gives us more strength to just you know, push forward. And while this is the last day for a large majority of the original eco team, they can't help but hope that their footprint on the environmental health of their high school will be long lasting. I hope that all of our waste management projects continue when we leave and that they go even farther, like possibly getting green bins or like um, can recycling in each of the classrooms because some of these things have been a struggle. Um, even to get recycling bins in the hallways and, and things of that nature because of like fire codes and stuff. So I'm, I'm really hoping that 
it can people continue to be really dedicated to these issues and that our school continues to move forward and be leaders in our board. And that seems to be the ultimate message the Cathedral Catholic High School's eco team has been able to convey to many, proving that even though they are young, they know this earth is theirs and they plan to make an imprint one seed at a time. I think it's important to keep our planet clean, the planet that God gave us. In Hamilton, Ontario, Magdalene John, 100 Huntley Street.